Over the weekend, floods rocked the Elgon region, destroying property worth millions of shillings and claiming lives of at least 29 people. Today, efforts to help the affected Seoul government through the office of the Prime Minister deliver 30 tons of food to the people who are starving as a result of the floods. While addressing journalists today, the Minister for Relief, Disaster Preparedness and Refugees, Hilary Onek, gave a detailed report of the incident. According to Minister Onek, the magnitude of the catastrophe, revealing that vehicles were destroyed in Bale City and over 8,000 households and houses were damaged after buildings submerged. To borrow four, with four occupants, only two were rescued alive. Two missing wish um, three, with three occupants, two survive, one missing. A harrier with no occupants parked at home. Super custom still submerged with 11 occupants. One driver survived. After 800 households, 80 houses damaged. He adds that bridges and health centers were destroyed and properties such as crops and animals, including cattle, pigs, fish and poultry, were also lost in some parts. Opening up of the cracks, landslide, rocks, rock falls and massive soil erosion. The flooding destroyed river banks, people's homes, gardens, crops, animals, bridges, roads, water points, uh, contaminated and blocked. Um, and, sub, and submerged. The Disaster Preparedness Minister also warned the people who are still living on the slopes of Mount Elgon to relocate to safer grounds in order to avert similar occurrences. And the sub counties affected are all listed here. They are uh, Bumufumi, Fun Bumufuni, Vikonge, Nabongo, and others. Uh, areas along the rivers, streams, are all most affected. Um, there is need to relocate settlements and farming activities from these areas. According to the minister, the Ministry of Relief Disaster Preparedness is currently working with other stakeholders to manage the crisis. According to the Resident City Commission of Mbale, food distribution to the affected will start on Wednesday, the 3rd of August. <laughs> At the moment, rescue efforts are still going on in the area to try and retrieve the bodies that are still missing. Hope Nyongereza, CTV, PM Edition.